This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Hey guys, today on Hacksaw Creators, I'll be showing you guys how to make a uh, really modern looking header uh, and we're going to be using CSS and HTML to achieve this and it's really easy to make. So the end, uh, the end result should look something like this. As you can see, I can scroll down and there's a, a nice effect between the two pictures and yeah i'm gonna be showing you how to do this now before i begin this video uh some really helpful tutorials you can check out that can help you with this video is my css backgrounds video uh it goes really uh it's really it's really similar uh to this it's gonna uh, show you how you can use images as a background in css and we're gonna be using those effects to show you how to do it today as a header so first of all, I'm going to be using the same file I did as my last tutorial for the navigation uh, navigation bar I did. So if you haven't watched that tutorial, make sure to go check it out. It's going to show you how to make something like this. And I'm going to use the same file. So I'm going to delete everything I used to do this, uh, this, um, this, uh, the header. So it's this div, uh, and I'm, I'm also going to delete the CSS. So now we can start from scratch. So I'm, I'm just gonna resize this window. And so I have to close this first of all. So yeah, so I'm gonna go back to my HTML file. And the first thing I did was I made a div. So div and it's gonna be ID and you can name it anything. I named mine first of all, the, for the first one I named it image header and then I um, you can close it off and close off the div tag so so that was really easy to make now you're gonna want to go to your um, CSS file make sure it's linked together if you don't know how to do that go to CSS basics tutorial and it's gonna show you how to do it so once you have linked it together first of all you want to make hash image um, header and this is basically gonna select the div you made in there and um, so position you're gonna set it to absolute so position is gonna be absolute and after that you want to set the width and the height of the image to a hundred percent so um, that's really simple so you want to set both to a hundred percent so height and you want to set that to a hundred percent too so once you have done that you want to go to background image and you want to uh, create uh, you want to select what kind of image you want to use so uh, you can use an image from the internet you can use the link or you can use the file name on your computer to um, use a uh, to use a to use an image so for me I'm gonna go and I have already saved uh, I have already picked two pictures and one of them the first one is this and the second one is this so to use these you, all you have to do is you just gotta copy the um, image link and I'm gonna minimize this window and I'm gonna paste this link inside of the parentheses and after that, what you want to do is you want to um, uh, set the background size to cover um, size cover. So this is going to cover the whole page. And you also want to make sure that in your body tag, you have your padding and margin set to zero. And you want to save this. So right now, if you go over to your web page, uh, it should have a picture but one thing uh, you can notice is you can't scroll down or anything and if you don't want this to be your whole uh, website or web page what you can do is you want to go back into um, sublime text and before I actually add another image what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another div inside of the div that we made first of all so uh, what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow us to add that effect that I showed you uh, before the video began so you want to create a new div and id equals name it anything you want but in my case i'll just uh name it image header um 
let's say wrapper okay and then you close this off with a greater than sign and then you want to close the div tag off so uh, once you are done with this you want to go into your uh, CSS uh, page and what you can do in there is hash and then you want to select that div so image header wrapper and we're going to use this and inside uh, you want to set, set the position to absolute the width to 100% and the height to 100% so basically you're going to be redoing what we did with these first uh, three lines on the image header one and so I'm just going to type that in So basically, once you are done with this, what you want to do is we're going to create another div in the HTML file. So this is basically going to add another image. So go under the div you made, not inside, uh, but under it. And then what you want to do is you want to put div. And again, you can ID equals, you can name it anything. I'm going to name mine image, image he header two. So and you can close this off and go back into your CSS file. Now this is where we can add the uh, new image. So select the div that you just created. So header two and so first of all, we're gonna repeat what we did uh, for most uh, parts. So we're gonna re uh, repeat all this and we're gonna add new tags under that that's going to allow you to add that effect. So apps absolute um I messed up absolute. So and then under here you want to go with width and you want to set it to a 100%. Um and same thing with the height, you want to set it to a 100%. And under here, you want to go to background image and URL. So parentheses and inside is where you can add your image. So I'm going to go back to Google Chrome where I had my images. So um, I think it was here. Yeah. So I'm going to copy this and go back into sublime text and you can paste this inside of the URL, uh, inside of the parentheses. So under here, what you can do is you wanna uh, select the background image size. So background size cover. So again, this is just gonna make the image cover the whole entire page and not leave any blanks or anything. And then you wanna go to top 100%. So this is gonna place the images uh, under so it's gonna place this image under the first one uh, if you don't put top 100% then what it's gonna do is it's gonna overlap the pictures and it's gonna put this picture over the top of the one you did before and you don't want that you want to scroll down and be able to see both pictures so you want to add top 100% under there you want to add background attachment um, this is basically what gives that um, uh, that will gives that um, effect uh, and fixed. So I went over this in my uh, CSS uh, background image tutorial. So when you set the background attachment to fixed, then it's not gonna scroll. So only the top picture is gonna scroll, which which gives it like a really cool effect. So if I go to the website and refresh, I think I have to save the um, I have to save the code. So command S to save Google Chrome refresh. And as you can see, you have your website with the scrolling effect. And yeah, I think it looks really nice and it's really easy to make, but at the same time, it's really effective and people like it. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one.